Say on streets. Our streets. Say on streets. Our and made it. Right. Made it. Whose streets? Our streets. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and we got a couple free gifts that we want to give away to our listeners today. If you are a music artist, a business owner, a social media influence, man, are you a public figure in the community, a activist or organizer, man, we have two links in the description below available for you to submit either A, your music, or or B, your story, your content. Your music will go on ends music, and your and your content, your voice will also go on ends media magazine. So thank y'all for your time. Now it's time to get back to the episode. Appreciate y'all for listening. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuned in to another episode of Ends Podcast. On this episode of Ends Podcast, man, we're going straight to the music, but we're going to be talking about Motown, Motor City, Detroit, the Dirty Glove, baby. <clears throat> man, I ain't going to lie to you. Right now, the music scene in Detroit is really going crazy, and being from Detroit, man, being tapped in, is just, and man, I ain't going to lie, it's a real blessing to see, but... If you really take a step back and really look through it like a bigger scope or a bigger lens, let's go back into like the history of Detroit when it comes down to the music scene and when it comes down to black music, black culture, black music. Everybody already know the uh, famous, you know, Motown, which produced some of the best and some of the most legendary music artists um that your grandparents came up with, that your mama respect and know what your favorite artist probably sample um man all type of artists man and if you don't know who Smokey robinson is uh if you don't know who ben gordy is man go ahead go look that up man it's funny because the culture of detroit is really uh you know that that blue collar hard working uh and that get it out the mud hustle by any means mentality if you really understand ben gordy's story and the motown story started out in a duplex um you, you feel me like home and you can go see like the whole the, the whole house is um is a museum right now on the boulevard in Detroit. You can go check it out. But start off in the home. You feel me? Like what what you see now nowadays how artists were being so critical and so you, you feel me uh you know uh criticizing and critiquing the whole uh recording in the house, the whole uh recording in the closet type deal. But you gotta understand that's how Motown was built and Motown uh, help establish some of the most legendary artists, some of the most impactful artists in the um, the black culture, and uh, let alone music in general, in general. So history was made starting out in a house. You feel me? Uh, so always keep that in mind. But you know, fast forward. You feel me? Um, then it was an era where you weren't really hearing no Detroit music. Detroit music weren't really getting out there like that. Um, the music switched. You start, uh, it went from soul, um, and then, you know, a new form of uh, music started to arrive, hip-hop, and a lot of uh, Detroit artists wasn't really, uh, like, mainstream, marketable, you know, like, marketable uh, type of artists, because, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, at that time, street music, 
you know, in the 90s and stuff like that, street music started having an impact, but um, you start to see lights like uh, Eminem, you feel me, and stuff like that start to uh, really start to break out and set themselves apart, but you got to look at uh, Eminem. He was a, a white guy rapping out of Detroit, <laughs> you feel me, uh, had bars. So, uh, of course, he uh, was able to stand out, and he, he uh, put himself on, but he also put members uh, of his team on that was from, you know, from the east side of Detroit, uh, over there in the seven mile area but then uh as you start to really keep you know fast forward and excuse me you start to see other artists you know big shine doughboy cash out they start to make a name for themselves they starting to come up um but then out of nowhere uh it was like the light really started to open up for detroit and the the new wave of the uh like just the new wave of hip-hop um Detroit really opened up um, and people got a full perspective of what was really going on in the D, that culture, because Detroit is a predominantly black city. So you got to think like Detroit was that that uh, if you, uh, you know, go check your history during the great migration uh, during that time where a lot of uh, black families were leaving the south 